What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, Batwoman. Uh, Warner Brothers is uh, reportedly copyright claiming trailers used in videos critical of the CW's Batwoman show. This is just beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. This is a true train wreck. This show, among other things, but this show specifically also is doing nothing but confirming everything that we say about the identity politics nature of Hollywood and how it's not okay to criticize something that has identity politics into it because that makes you a racist or a sexist. This is the thing that they do. This is why so many people are getting frustrated with how they are operating within Hollywood. So let's read this. This is from Bounding Into Comics. Um, Several YouTube critics have reported that Warner Brothers has issued cop or content ID claims against their respective videos, which criticized the CW's Batwoman television show for featuring the series trailer. One of the earliest claims was reported on October 24th by media review channel Mr. H Reviews, who reported that his video criticizing the then newly released Batwoman trailer had been claimed by WBTV, specifically citing the use of the season trailer. Uh, a few days later, on October 29th, fellow media and culture critic It's a Gundam announced that his own video had been similarly claimed through a separate First Look trailer instead, claiming it was being uh, down because the show isn't a hit. Uh, and this is It's a Gundam's uh, tweet right there. The claims have been continued as popular gaming YouTuber The Quartering reported that his video titled The Unending Yikes That Is Batwoman Delivers Again and published months prior to June had been claimed citing the use of teaser and trailer. The Quartering has, been, has since been able to successfully challenge this claim and has had the video released through, uh, though has warned that these false claims may have been an attempt to silence criticism of the underperforming Arrowverse spinoff. As of writing, neither Warner Brothers nor anyone involved with the Batwoman production team has publicly commented on this alleged silencing of the critics. Um, now, I've had a couple of very, very popular Batwoman videos. Uh, very, I've had a lot of them, actually. Um, you know, my, my reaction to the trailer did get claimed. Uh, that has over three or four hundred thousand views at this point. Um, everything that I've done outside of that, there might have been another reaction here or there. But if it's a reaction, I understand why it gets claimed. But I haven't had any videos where I'm just critical of Batwoman get claimed. But I haven't used any footage in those either, uh, to my knowledge. So I haven't had any of those claimed, and those have gotten a lot of views. Many, uh, several of them are over a hundred thousand views. Um, Batwoman is a trash show. Uh, it has been a trash show from the moment that we heard anything about it, from the uh, anti-male marketing to the SJW-themed marketing to the uh, the put emphasis on all of this nonsense, this woke nonsense, um, and then of course. Then when they did their anti-man marketing campaign and then they disrespected Batwoman in the marketing by basically saying that uh, Batwoman, a woman's not going to let a man take credit for a woman's work, which is just nonsense on a whole def different level. Um, you know, there was no way this show was going to be successful. And it's been a trash fire ever since. Now, I haven't watched it and I have, no, I, I have no interest to watch this show based on the marketing and based on what they've done with it. Some people have told me and they've even said it on this channel. I think Lethal Lightning made a video here on this channel and talked about how it's bad, but it's not as bad as it seemed it was going to be. And I think that's fair for anybody that wants to watch the show. It's up to you. It's your own individual right to do whatever you want. If you want to watch this show, be my guest. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just going to continue to trash it after the garbage marketing that I witnessed and the wokeness of Hollywood. And now this falls right in line with everything that we have seen from Ghostbusters 2016 to Star Wars to Terminator. All of this crap where if you criticize something that has identity politics in it, you, can, you must be a racist or a toxic male. And now the silencing of critics falls right in line. So we'll see what happens with these uh, claims. But again, it hasn't happened to me. But I haven't had any videos where I just played a clip here, a clip there. I've had reactions to the entire trailer that got claimed, but not any videos where I was critiquing the show without any video evidence. So we'll see. Other than that, Batwoman sucks, Hollywood sucks. And uh, other than that, you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, 
hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Thank you.